2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. Looking forward to the action out on the golf course today, Luke. That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the first. Not bad. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. That's frustrating. An opportunity to make their par. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently tied for third. We've arrived at a par five. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Getting ready to play their third. This one looks to be heading towards the green. A wonderful shot, a chance for Purdy here at the second. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Uh, a bit long on that one. Just three feet to the cup. I suck and at that's pudding. That's a good make in the end. Certainly helped them fight back from a difficult position. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. He's found the surface. Good chance here. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This one will run uphill. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And there it is. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Second shot here on the fourth. Here's a putt to move into a share of top spot on the leaderboard. It was on a good line. Putting for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. 
Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Just a bit outside into the rough. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. That gets the job done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. We have a par four on this one. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Eleven feet to the cup. Trying to save par here. Ouch, that hurts. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. Par 5, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Second shot here on the seventh. Look like this one's heading to the beach. Sitting at one over, currently tied for fifth place. Setting up to play the shot here from the green side rough. And he needs this to save par. Just didn't drop. And this next putt, it's for bogey. The putt goes in and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three, to say the least. Wow, what happened there? This would be a great up and down. Beauty of a chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. He's currently tied for 15th. Time to face a par four. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Well played, mate. Sitting at two over for the day. This one's right of the green. Looks like they pushed this one. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. And here we are with the third shot. Three shots off the lead. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. This is important. Big par putt here. Just a couple of inches away from finding that one.
this one is for bogey. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Par four, this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. Water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes come into the equation. That a boy, good shot. And this putt to move into the top 20. This is on a great line. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately having to settle for par. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Par three measures 231 yards for the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. This one's for birdie. Oh, he's up, Tiger. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Looks like they may have pushed that one. Yep, I don't blame you. I'd want to take another look at that one as well. Putting for a bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now, seven shots behind after that. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, that almost went down. Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. This is a bogey putt coming up. Back-to-back -back bogeys is never nice, but in she goes. And making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. We've arrived at a par four. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're going to have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. That's inside the house of opportunity. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a short putt remaining here. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I gotta say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. 
Let's see if he can make this and keep the par on the card. Oh, so close. And down it goes. Currently at seven over par. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Par four. And a fun little par four at that. Just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway. But a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green. And your golf ball can go a wandering if you're not careful. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Well, that's a bit disappointing. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. And in it goes for the par. And now at plus seven for the round. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Nine feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. Par putt coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Well struck. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green, actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. A well hold, he'll take the birdie. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Uh, great shot. Second shot here at the 18th. And here we are with the third shot. This one is heading to a really not so good space. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. From the sand, looking to get up and down.
this is their fifth shot. Hello and welcome to this matchup. Just get to that hole as fast as you can. Let's go. 